Here is a rarity that you won't find too much for the guy that wants to be different at the car shows. This will definitely do it. A 1947 International KB1 half ton pickup. That's right, you heard me, International. What's the good thing about this? The drivability of it. Looks all patina on the outside, looks all original. It's got the red wheels on it that were just painted. Brand new BF Goodrich TA radials all the way around. It's got a Mustang two front clip on it. It's got a 10 bolt Chevy rear end. It's got brand new glass, brand new rubber. The pop outs work on the front. Brand new dummy spots. Wood bed in the back with a lift up quarter piece for your gas tank underneath the back end so it's not in the bed anymore. Or I should say in the cab. As you can see, this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. It's got the original Knox body on that, or the Knox bed, I should say. If you guys didn't know anything about internationals, that was something that can be ordered. Right here, you can see the VIN tag for the box by itself. So the box is really unique how it's custom made. There's an all original truck that's been hot rotted out. It's got a tilt column in it. It's got white face gauges. It's got a JVC sound system with iPod hookup with USB port. It's got Pioneer speakers behind the back seats or behind the seats I should say. The seats are all electric leather out of a Jimmy. It's got a B&M shifter. It's got infinity separates in the kick panels, six and a halfs with tweeters. It's got brand new wiring. You can see the new wiring kit, which is barely there. You can see pictures of it if you look online for it. It's got a 350 motor in it, turbo 350 trans. It's got a mechanical fan. Standard carburetor that came off the 1983 350. It's all been built. It's got a mild cam in it. It's only got 900 miles since it was completed. It's got power brakes. Here's your VIN tag. All matches the title. You can see the Mustang 2, how it was grafted in. On both sides, kind of dark, but it's there. Everything else is pretty much all original. As you can see, the body is extremely straight on it. Only two holes I could find on the whole truck were back by the bed. And it's missing one chrome piece of the that gorgeous bumper and grill. Again, international KB1 half-ton pickup. 